Welcome back to another episode of 5 Minutes of Fantech. Today we're going to be working with Travis Brungar of Catalyst Construction to install an Atmo Fresh Air Appliance. Take it away Travis. We are about to install the Atmo 200E Fresh Air Appliance. There is a possibility to direct duct this so you could actually run the ducts directly to the spaces where you want the fresh air to be distributed. So this device is essentially designed to provide you fresh air for your occupants while not eliminating the efficiency of the home by dumping cold or hot air in without preconditioning it. It also has a substantial filter inside, so it's providing additional filtration, and it runs the outdoor air through a heat exchanging core. So outdoor air coming in through this six inch round duct enters this core, and it's basically a series of veins that although they cross, they don't ever actually mix the air streams. So the air flows through here and is distributed out into the house after being preconditioned. The stale air from the house, which you would want to draw out of a bathroom or kitchen area, if you were going to direct duct it, we're actually going to pull it off of our main return up high. We're going to suck that stale air in and run it across this coil and then exhaust it out of the house. That's essentially how an ERV works. So this is the guts of the equipment. It's essentially Essentially, fans and the core. Uh, this is sort of the magic box that does all the important things. And then, uh, of course, it's all well sealed. There are some balancing ports here. So once we get the unit in place, we can actually commission it to make sure that we're drawing in and discharging at a balanced rate. The very first thing that we want to do is bend out these tabs. We're going to use the springs provided so that we can dampen any bounce. We're going to get started running ductwork, and uh, it's essentially just going to be a six inch flex that again, we're coming off of the two ports to withdraw from the return and then enter the return with the fresh air. So our discharge from the fresh air appliance goes into the return. And then off of the opposite side, we'll be going to the exterior where we can pick up that fresh air as well as exhausting the stale air from the system. And because this is our stale air removal, again, we want to check our guidelines here. Stale air from home, right here. And then fresh air to home, out of the bottom. So we're going to bring both up across the ceiling and then back down on the side of the unit. And there are some plastic collars that allow us to make up these connections. Again, one of the smart things the folks at Fantech did was they designed it such that you can slide these into place with the unit already up on the wall and then secure them after. So it'll lock in and then a couple of screws to secure it so it doesn't pop back off. So I can actually make up all my air connections on the ground if I so choose and then work my way up and around. You can see it looks like I've run it long. That's because I don't want to obstruct the 90 degree. So I can bunch up the end to make up that smooth 90 so we don't have a bunch of excess. All right, we've completed our ductwork installation for our Atmo Series 200. This is a fresh air appliance that we've been working to install. This is an ERV. And now that we've made all, all of our connections, we're essentially ready to go ahead and complete uh, the final steps of installation. We have a few remaining steps. Our first step is going to be the optional drainage. So Fantech offers the kit, uh, it's actually included, for tubing that allows us to drain this material directly to our floor drain. And the important thing to note with that is that we really need to uh, ensure the trap, basically a loop in the tubing that allows for some water to remain in the tube. Otherwise, when we're running this fan, it could depressurize and draw the sewer gas that would be, you know, just free air through the tubing into the system. And obviously you don't want that. It's a fresh air appliance. The whole point is to bring in the fresh air and having that simple loop, which will then hold some water uh, from dehumidification, uh, that will allow that moisture to remain in the line, blocking that sewer gas from coming in. We also have 
our low voltage connections that need to be made. And this is a very important detail. Before we make up this connection, we want to make sure that we do not have power to the appliance because you could fry the board. So you're going to want to make sure that before you make your final connections, Obviously, you're going to have power off while you make those connections, then get it connected, and then you can power the unit up once everything's connected. You don't want any shorting about that. Those are our remaining details to wrap up on this Atmos series fresh air appliance, and uh, I'm pretty thrilled with the install. I think this is something that uh, your typical subcontractor is not going to have any problems with. So get them into the Fantech system and uh, enjoy your fresh, clean air. Thanks again for showing us how easy it is to install an Atmo Fresh Air appliance. So thanks again, Travis, and we'll catch you next time on 5 Minutes with Fantech.